Alan Nuckman of Agora Financial. He's on the road. Thanks for coming on the show. Alan, let's get your trading thoughts. Hello, Angie. Traveling today. Wanted to give you a quick update on what's happening. This is why we trade options. So we saw a session storm after we've had a lot of calm. And let's remember, it's been a calm climb. Taking a look at the trade tracker, you had a position in Newmont Mining. Exited half of our position on Newmont Mining, had sold on strength beforehand, and got out of the second half at the end of the week. Are you still holding your position in U.S. Steel? U.S. Steel play. Uh, U.S. Steel play is the May 4th option. So we've got plenty of time. We've got that $32 call. It did rally up to 37, uh, looking to make, looking like it's going to try and make a push to 40. We took off half the position, made a 50% profit. Not a bad win there. How about Intel? Exited Intel, 49% winner on our Intel trade on that exit. It expired on Friday, got out, I think, midweek. What is your WPI trade trigger pointing to this week? The smart money is going into Micron. We've looked at this stock before. MU made some good profits on this twice so far this year. Uh, going into this one more time, buying more time than we need. The option we're looking at here is the May 11th, the May 11th 47 call, another push above 50 in MU could get that market moving once again. So we've got two and a half weeks of time to ride through any ups and downs. Before you take off, let's get to the trading floor takeaways. For my trading floor takeaways, number one is the dollar drive. Three month highs here in the dollar were we're significantly above that 90 level, breaking out of this sideways range. But again, let's look at where we are on a weekly basis. Number two, let's talk about 3% rent. All the talk is about the yield on the 10 year note that is, is used to price mortgages. Everybody's excited or, and or worried about the fact that we're above 3%. And this is new four year highs or getting to the 3% level anyways. Uh, this is four year highs in interest rates, but we are still at an extremely, extremely low rate. And lastly, number three, April rain. Now we did have a Dow drop yesterday, 500 points, again, one and one half percent. That's after a 1500 point rally run that we've seen in the Dow. So what we've done once again, giving back the gains, giving back our April gains. Let's watch this on a weekly basis and see where we are by week's end. Thank you, Alan, and we will see you here next week. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.